Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. I said that I wasn't going to do a video about this. In fact, I've spoken about it before, but because I've been getting so many emails lately, especially over the past six months, from genuinely worried and scared people. And what are they scared about? Well, they're scared that there is a rogue planet called Planet X that is heading toward Earth that is going to destroy us and end the world as we know it. So I have tried to respond uh, individually to these emails that I get explaining to people that there's nothing to worry about and that this whole Planet X Nibiru nonsense is just that nonsense. But because the number of these messages that I'm receiving asking me about this topic have grown at such a phenomenal rate, which is really mind-blowing to me. And so many people seem to be worried, and I'm getting so many tweets and messages from people saying, please do a video on Planet X. I am worried. I don't know what to think about it. I'm torn. I have friends or family who are legitimately scared from watching all of these YouTube videos that are hitting the web talking about this doomsday planet that's going to wipe us out. So here I am, there is a lot of information to go over and I'm not going to cram all of that into one video. There are numerous online sources and websites you can go and visit to learn more and educate yourself on why Planet X is nonsense. At least the part of it heading toward Earth and destroying us. So I'm gonna give you a basic outline of what we know about it, what's happened, and why it's nonsense. So here is how the story goes. Believers in this doomsday event refer to this object that is going to wreak havoc on our solar system as Planet X or Nibiru. You've probably heard either or, and there's also other names, Wormwood. There, there's a lot of different names, and there's different planets. There's different planet X's that are theorized to exist, all of which, of course, are going to be wreaking havoc on us any day now. So we're supposed to have this disastrous encounter with this rogue planet, which, by the way, is supposed to be massive, as in many times the size of Jupiter. And this thing is either going to hit Earth and kill us, or it's going to nearly kill us and fly by us, however, the gravity from this thing being so massive will still throw Earth off of its axis and kill us anyway. Now they say that Nibiru, or Planet X, has been covered up and that it was discovered and that there were actual articles printed in the 80s about its discovery which were then taken down, hence the cover-up. So the story goes behind these articles that and this is true, by the way. These articles did come out. But there's a little bit more to the story than you probably know, or that you'll hear on these doomsday fear-mongering videos. So, on December 30th, 1983, NASA's chief scientist of the Infrared Astronomical Satellite Telescope, or IRIS, announced that NASA had discovered Planet X. Then, a week later, after this story of Planet X was released, the magazine U.S. News and World Report ran a story retracting the announcement, and NASA has been supposedly silent ever since. So that is where the cover-up aspect comes from. Now, these articles were published. You're seeing some images of those here, back from 1983. And they did announce it, that they had found a 10th planet, and that's all true. So basically what happened was that this satellite that was used to make astronomical observations in infrared light found several objects that were previously unidentified. During the press conference, astronomers made a list of potential sources of what these objects could have been. And of course, one of the things in that list included that of a possible 10th planet. So then, newspapers being newspapers, the Washington Post, of course, zeroed in on the whole 10th planet theory, excluding all of the other possibilities, uh, focusing on that and creating an article about it. 
when in fact a possible tenth planet was only a number of things that they guessed that were spoken about during the press conference. So then they say NASA found out about these articles and figured out what this object really was and hastily covered up the discovery and had the articles retracted. So when this article came out, NASA didn't know whether it was a planet, a giant comet, a nearby protostar that never got hot enough to become an actual star, uh, or a distant galaxy. But what they found out later on, that what they were actually seeing were distant galaxies with a starburst of new galaxies and some very dense gas clouds within our own Milky Way galaxy. Hence, there was no rogue massive object near, inside, or even far outside of our solar system. Now, if you remember, the whole internet community got up in arms and got their panties all in a bunch when YouTube videos came out, as well as doomsday prophecies, um, specifically by one person by the name of Zachariah Sitchin, who basically came out and said that in 2012, the Earth was going to end when Planet X came by, and his proof for this was that he had translated some ancient texts, which included Sumerian writings, and I'm sure you guys remember this, and he alluded to this ancient Sumerian tablet here, which supposedly showed our solar system with the sun at the center, along with 11 planets around it. And because Sumerians counted the sun and the moon as planets, Sitchin says that the extra one must have been some unknown planet, hence Planet X. Uh, however, as I said, Mr. Sitchin misinterpreted this tablet, and we also know that he was wrong because the world did not end in December of 2012. So, once the world didn't end at the end of 2012, and by the way, it was supposed to end in 2003 as well, um, but after 2012, the date was moved up. The world was supposed to end in 2013. Didn't happen. And after that, the whole Planet X phenomenon seemed to fade out of the spotlight, at least for a little while. Because people started waking up and realized that it was bullshit. However, a couple of years have gone by, and as many new people and newcomers to this topic, and especially a lot of young people who are new to all of this stuff have been watching these YouTube videos lately, um, the whole Planet X hysteria has started up again. And now, uh, the world is supposed to end. Um, it was supposed to end in April, which it didn't. And it seems that they're just going to continue pushing up the date farther and farther. You will see these YouTube videos posting uh, photographs of the sun, showing an object sitting beside it, which is supposed to be this Planet X heading toward us. However, most of these people obviously have no knowledge as to how camera lens flares work, because that is the only thing that they are photographing. And you can actually hold your finger up when you're taking these pictures and see that these lens flares will appear on top of your finger, uh, once again disproving that they are taking any photos of a rogue planet. Furthermore, if there was some rogue planet in our inner solar system, hell, even on the outside, even within a billion miles of our solar system, it would have been seen a long time ago. And we would also be witnessing some massive disturbances of other planets in our solar system, which we are, of course, not seeing because there is no rogue planet heading toward us. There is absolutely no astronomical indication that there is an existence of any large planet in our solar system. Period. The sun is not acting abnormally, as some people have said. Well, the sun is acting up, or it's not acting right. These people, again, do not understand how the sun works and the cycles that it goes through. The sun is acting completely normal. There have not been any more earthquakes than there normally are. Space observatories all over the world have not captured a single image of anything remotely looking like another planet heading anywhere near us. In fact, did you guys know that 
you can spot Pluto in space with nothing more than a 10 inch telescope, like the one you're seeing here. This little telescope is large enough to spot Pluto at a distance of 7.5 billion kilometers, which is nearly 40 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. And Pluto is smaller than our own moon, which should give you an idea of how easy it would be for amateur astronomers all over the world to detect a massive object heading toward us, even if it's millions of kilometers outside of our solar system. There's nothing out there. Now, we've recently discovered dwarf planets that are out there near Pluto, near Neptune, on the far reaches of our solar system. We've found asteroids. We've found comets. But there is no brown dwarf heading toward us. There's nothing that has been found in infrared or otherwise. And you know, this reminds me, and I want to close out this video today uh, with a quote from uh, the astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, who is quoted as saying, uh, when asked about the whole Planet X topic, that it was, quote, a marvelous work of fiction by people who flunked physics in high school. And this is a perfect example of what you're seeing in all of these new YouTube videos coming out lately. This is nothing more than an old topic that is being recycled over and over and over. The world was supposed to end years ago. It didn't happen. Now they're bringing it up again, and they're pushing the date back further and further. And it's going to continue on like this, and it will die out again before there's a whole other group of people, newcomers to this topic, who will get scared all over again. And hopefully, they will find this video and learn the truth. Now, I'm going to post some links down in the video description so you can learn some more. Because, again, there's a whole lot more to learn about this. So check those out. You'll see for yourself that this is nothing but nonsense. So if you hear anything about Planet X coming for us, turn and run the other way. So thanks for stopping by and watching. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe on your way out. And stick around because I've got a lot more coming. Stay safe, guys. Thank you.